Hey guys, welcome back to Bitcoin Stuff. This episode is on why I disagree with replay attack protection. And um, the idea of a replay attack is Bitcoin has forked, so there are two chains operating simultaneously, and uh, by default, a transaction which was valid before the split is valid on both chains after. So what can happen is if there's somebody who only knows about one chain and he only knows about the value on one chain, he could make a transaction and think that he's only sending this much when he's really sending this much because the transaction can be mined on both chains. Okay, So the idea of replay attack protection is you know, one chain says to the other, uh, uh, hey, people might accidentally send transactions on your chain when they think they're just sending them on mine. So you need to change the rules to make it so that that doesn't happen. Um, here's the problem with that, okay? The only way that a fork of Bitcoin can be a good investment is if it's trying to win, okay? That, that has to be the goal. And if you are implementing replay protection, that's too submissive. To me, that's like saying, yes, you are the real Bitcoin and I'm just a fork. So I will be nice and change the rules to make things more convenient for you. No, that's not going to work. You can't win with that attitude. You need to be saying, no, I am the true Bitcoin. I'm going to defeat you. You should implement replay attack protection against me. Yeah, that's that's how it should work. Um, to me, the Bitcoin developers are like the dynasty and the investors are like the mandate from heaven. Okay, so sometimes the dynasty becomes corrupt and there needs to be new blood. Um, and a new family takes over the empire, okay? Then they have the mandate from heaven. That's, uh, that's, that's what the investors do, okay? So if they choose a new, uh, if, a, if Bitcoin forks, they choose which one wins, okay? Um, and if you're the new guy, uh, you have to be trying to win, okay? You have to be like uh, Genghis Khan. You have to be somebody who can take over the palace, you know? And uh, do you think Genghis Khan would implement replay attack protection? I don't think so. So um, the, the in order to be good, uh, the, the forks need to um, be a lot more aggressive than that, okay? It's, it's just too nice. To me, like, if, if you are saying that the, the other side needs to implement replay attack protection and you don't, that's like declaring victory before the Civil War is over. That's just cheating, okay? It's just a, it's a manipulation tactic. So now let's talk about the, the, um, the, the victim of the replay attack, the person I described earlier who, who uh, thinks he's sending this much when he's really sending this much. What do we do about him? So my answer to this is that is not an attack, okay? In order for something to be an attack, there needs to be an attacker who actually does something, okay? But I described the whole scenario without an attacker, okay? So I, you know, what, what, what do we do about him? He's, he is somebody who doesn't know what he owns, okay? What do you do about that? I, that, that person is too far gone to be helped, okay? You're, you're, you're trying to protect people from their own ignorance, and that never works, because the market is inherently treacherous. You know, if, if you try to, protect people from their own ignorance that just prolongs their suffering so you shouldn't do that now um uh bit bitcoin transactions are public okay so you can't like you can't really say that it's 
an attack, if you send a transaction out to show it to, to one chain and then the people on the other chain also see it, okay? So, like, if, if I receive a, a transaction, like, it's not, it's not an attack to show it to other people, okay? Uh, it, so, I, you know, there is no attacker here. There is just an, an ignorant person who doesn't understand how Bitcoin works and he doesn't understand what's happening in Bitcoin, which he should understand. He should understand these things because that's relevant to his investment in Bitcoin, okay? These are things he would want to know, okay? If I owned a significant value in coins that I had never heard of before, that's, that's really kind of my problem. I would say, like, how how can I not know that? It's, I mean, if it's a, such a tiny amount that it doesn't really matter, then, you know, who cares? But, but if it's a significant amount of money, you're supposed to know about it, okay? Just know about what you own, okay? That is like the most basic thing about being an investor. And th these these you know replay attack victims, they don't even they can't even do that, okay? Why don't we worry about intelligent investors and stop worrying about ignorant investors, okay? Why don't we just, why don't we assume that people are going to learn how, how the system works, okay? I think that would be a lot better, okay? So in conclusion, uh, Bitcoin forks need to be like fighting, okay? They need to be trying to kill each other or else they're no good. So, you know, don't, you don't, you don't uh, give concessions to the other side. That's why you shouldn't do replay attack protection. And people shouldn't be protected from their own ignorance, at least to a point, okay? Like, uh, the point where, if, if somebody has a huge pile of gold, okay, and he doesn't know that he has it, I mean, what, what can you do about this person? Nothing. That... You just just trying to get get the gold as quickly, you know, more quickly than other people. Okay?